Well, I think if you look across the board and look at the standings, it all comes down to, you know, actually three sets of games for several teams this conference weekend. Uh, the best part about that we'll tell our team and our team's knows is that we control what's going to happen. Um, you know, you win two games, you leave no doubt in anybody's mind. You win one game, that should work too. But you don't have to worry about what somebody else does. You can control your own destiny. So, and it's important too. We come in and it's our last set of home games. Um, it's the last opportunity for Lorena Vela to play at home. And, um, you know, we want to make sure all those are on the right note here as we head into to, uh, an opportunity for conference tournament play next week. Very important for us because it will ultimately give us a berth to the um, tournament next weekend in St. Louis and um, we just need to keep playing like we are and stuff and I think we'll have a good chance of making it to St. Louis. Um, we've all come together like as a team. In the beginning it was a little rocky, kind of everybody's trying to figure out what their role was on this team and I feel like everybody's found that now. Well, I think just in general, the confidence factor of this team played, they played their tails off in April. Um, you know, we had that rough start and they came back and won eight conference games in a row. Um, all, you know, incredible sweeps, uh, some great midweek wins. I think just showed how far our team's come in a short amount of time, their maturity. Uh, that's something, you know, we sat back in February and hoping that this team would be come together um, from an on-the-field perspective and people get more comfortable and they've done that. Um, we've seen a lot of different people step up and be our game day hero, um, you know, or do something f fantastic just to help us win. Just desire and stuff. Um, we got a really young team and it's really good because we have a lot of energy this year. And I think, you know, it's just different because our team was so young and not a lot of people um, have played together before. And I think, you know, once we got get going and stuff, and it's just all about chemistry with us. You know, Lorraine has been a constant person, constant, uh, steady person for us from the day she entered our program. Um, Lorraine, one of the things we love about Lorraine is she never gets too high, she never gets too low. You can always count on her. Um, you know, we turn to Lorraine when we need something. We need the team, um, you know, if they need to be spoken to or we just need somebody to pick them up, she's a person that we're going to rely on for it. So it's a great opportunity that for somebody who's spent so much of our program that we can take the time on Saturday and just recognize everything she's brought to brought to our program but brought to the 49er program as well. She's a big part of the team. Um, we love her to death and we're sad to see her go but it's Lorena Day on Saturday. Uh, it's kind of bittersweet being my last time in Charlotte but I'm excited. My family's coming out and um, this is big because I mean we need to get a win in order to get a bid into the tournament.